treasurer of the Democratic Party of Georgia. Jason is a dynamic leader that understands the importance of closely monitoring finances, fundraising, and building a strong bottom line. Jason and I first met when we were both lawyers, supporting various candidates around town, but ultimately we ended up supporting each other in our own political campaigns. We worked closely at the Capitol together last year to get a tax relief measure for folks in Atlanta that were trying to stay in their home. And it was a school tax relief measure, but we did it in a way that preserved revenue for the schools long term and gave relief to people that needed it the most in gentrifying areas. Jason's experience will help us. He is a litigation attorney here in Atlanta and is chair of the Atlanta Public School Board. Let me tell you, that means his colleagues saw how hard he worked on the public school board and they elected him. He is married to Ariel and they have two kids, Jaden and Zoe. But what really sets Jason apart for me is his ability to sit in rooms, whether it's with community members, elected officials, or business leaders, and be consistent and authentic. I've seen him talk to people at the Capitol and talk to my community members in Southeast Atlanta right here. And the goal is always the same. How do we help people with more opportunity and remove barriers to those opportunities? He has a vision for this role as treasurer that you will hear about shortly that fulfills the duties of treasurer but also goes beyond. So let me tell you why that matters. This year in the State House, we flipped 14 seats, right? Thank you to the top of our ticket, Leader Abrams, Leader Trammell, and everyone in this room for making that happen. But that means we're 16 seats away from taking the House, okay? We have got to do that. And let me tell you what that means beyond a Democratic Speaker of the House. That means a pro-choice woman chairing the committee that hears reproductive rights legislation, right? That means an African-American voting rights activist chairing the committee that will hear voting bills. That means a union member in the House who can chair a committee that hears minimum wage and employee protection laws. And it means passing Medicaid expansion. And it means stopping discriminatory measures, right? We would have a veto on those. Jason is the type of leader that will go beyond his role and do exactly those things. And that's why I'm joining Jason Carter, Stacey Abrams, and many other leader, and I'm proud to nominate my good friend, Jason Estevez, for treasurer. Good afternoon, Georgia Democrats. I, I see we have the real Democrats still left in the room. Is that right? I'm State Representative Carolyn Hughley, and as a State Representative and as a State Committee member from Muscogee County, I'm proud to second the nomination of Jason Estevez to be the treasurer of the DDG. Jason is from Columbus, and he's actually spent more time in Columbus than the 11 years that he's lived in Atlanta. I first met him when he and my son played basketball. He has the heart. He's the kind of leader that we need to take our party forward. So join me in electing Jason Estevez as your next treasurer. Good afternoon, Democrats. I hope it's true what they say, which is that you saved the best for last, Chair. Chairwoman. Thank you so much for sticking out here with us this evening or this afternoon. Almost evening. We only have a couple more hours to go. So don't worry about it. We almost got you out. We're almost at the finish line. I want to thank my friend David Dreyer for nominating me to this important role. Uh, we've worked hard together and I look forward to continuing that work. And I also want to thank Rep Representative Carolyn Hubley, uh, who I have, who I first met as a high school student uh, playing basketball with her son uh, at Col in Columbus High School. And I have seen the positive impact she's had in Columbus uh, and on this state. And for that, I am grateful. And while I'm talking about my hometown, I want to give a special shout out to the 2nd Congressional District uh, of Georgia. While I live in the 5th, uh, I, I am from the 2nd. Uh, and, and so much so that I played middle school soccer with my man Dominic back there. Dominic Perkins, who's a state committee member down in Muscogee County. And my wife is from the 2nd Congressional District as well. She's from Albany. And some of you met her this morning. Uh, and, and 
she helped whip some votes this morning. Unfortunately, she had to go back to the kids. Uh, Democrats, I think we have to take a few minutes to acknowledge what has happened here this, mor this morning and in this afternoon. You have had elections for executive officers that have been full of qualified candidates. That is a blessing. And something I think we all need to recognize here this afternoon. And this race is no different. We have a race for treasurer uh, that we have, in which we have two well-qualified candidates that will do a great job. Leonard and I are both attorneys, have been in education, have finance and compliance experience. We have worked hard for Democrats, and we are proud school board members. So I'm not going to try to sit here or stand here and try to convince you that my experience is better or that I work harder for Democrats because the truth of the matter is that we will both work hard for this party and for our candidates and we will both do right by you. So what I'm going to do is spend the time that I have to tell you about my plan for the next four years. First, my number one priority will be to increase transparency and accountability. In addition to the reports you will receive from me at state committee meetings, I will be regularly updating you by email and at times in person in counties across this state, letting you know how the Democratic Party is doing financially. I will also make sure that my reports are easily accessible and that they instill confidence that you need to have to be assured that the Democratic Party is doing exactly what we tell you to do. Second, I pledge to go beyond the day-to-day -day work of the treasurer. I strongly believe that the treasurer should be just as involved in helping the money come in as he is involved in where it ends up and accounting for how it got there. So I will work with, the, with Chairwoman Nakima Williams to reestablish re the Finance Committee so that we engage people across the state in the critical work of fundraising which ultimately frees up Nakima's time, but also frees up valuable staff time. I'll leverage national connections to bring more national dollars to the DPG like I did last year with my friend, State Representative Brenda Lopez, when we convinced Latino Victory to invest more than $100,000 in the DPG's coordinated campaign. I'll enhance our small dollar fundraising efforts, including the Yellow Dog Club, by improving its benefits and opportunities. And I'll do this with the intention of ensuring that the DPG is investing in what we know wins elections, grassroots organizing at the county and congressional district level. That is why I support the HEMA's plan to provide grants to county committees for electoral work so that we can compete in Wayne County, Paulding County, Hall County, just like we compete in Gwinnett County and Cobb County and Fulton County. Third, I've already discussed with the HEMA the, an opportunity to create a brand new leadership institute for community leaders and elected officials. This program will, will allow leaders to hone their skills and network with other people who believe in the power of democratic values. The program will, will, hold, will be across the state and communities, which will allow these leaders in the institute to learn about and connect with communities where Democrats need to strengthen our presence. As a result, this program will have a dual benefit. It'll, it'll build our bench, across the state, and it'll build bridges uh, in the regions we need to truly create a Blue Jordan. So I'm asking for your vote here this afternoon. Please vote for me, Jason Estevez, for DPG Treasurer. Thank you so much.